Game started. Okay. Laminating Guru. Let's try. Well, I was going to play a slob, but he played uh, Knight F3 instead. So we'll see. I was expecting C4, the normal move. So this move is some kind of... <clears throat> oh, Tori attack, I guess that's what it is. Maybe with the pawn on um, <clears throat> with the pawn on C three it'd be a Tory attack, but the bishop here is on G five, so let's uh, kick the bishop. Oh, it puts it there. Okay, let's just develop the bishop. I can play um, <clears throat> C five at any time. Maybe now would be good. And then just leave it there for a while. Decide how to develop the light squared bishop at some point. <clears throat> He's always got the idea of playing his knight to um, e5 in this position. Um, he hasn't secured a square for his knight. I mean, for his bishop. So I can harass the bishop like this. Now that he's castled, I'm not worried about <clears throat> opening the h-file. Now if I take and he takes back with a pawn, my knight is out of squares, but um, I can play uh, <clears throat> g6 or g5 and find a square here for the knight. Um, if I play f6, then just uh, g4 traps the knight. <clears throat> so let's take the bishop. That was the idea of harassing it, was to take it. If he goes with the knight there, then um, I have no problems because... Let's see. Let's play... Oh, <clears throat> now I have to move my knight. Sorry, I was about to, I was about to make a terrible blunder. Um, I just retreat the knight. So I wasted time, but I have the bishop pair, so I just have to uh, play a bit cautiously, and then I should be better after <clears throat> things have settled out. Let's see, if I go knight e4, bishop takes, pawn takes, knight back, he can't come to uh, g4 or g5, so he knight back to attack the pawn, then I can play <coughs> f4. I think that's f5, I think that's good. So I'm thinking bishop takes, pawn takes, knight to uh, e2, and pawn to f5, and I've got this setup of pawns here, which is a little weird, but um, if he does that, then I have time to play f5 immediately. Now this did open a square over here uh, where you can sink a knight, yeah. So let's not, <clears throat> let's not let the knight stay there. There was no way to Check. defend the bishop, so uh, he did get the bishop pair. Uh, well, I no longer have the bishop pair, I should say. Yeah, the knight can come to this square on um, <clears throat> c6, harassing my queen, but it's not hitting anything else. This bishop is a light squared bishop, so it's not attacking on this diagonal. He can try and sink his knight in on uh, g5 again. Let's see. I think, uh, let's move the bishop first. So 
So I can bring a Rick over. <coughs> and then, um, let's see, if I play uh, g5 here and he goes knight to g6, hitting the queen, I can take, uh, I can move my queen to g7, threatening to take the knight. <coughs> And otherwise, uh, the knight really has no other squares to go forward to. That's covered, that's covered, that's covered. So just uh, g6 is really the only square the knight is threatening to go to. Um, and I still want to play rook to uh, uh, rook f8 and f4, but of course knight g6 would fork the uh, queen and the rook. So maybe I need to move the queen first. <clears throat> okay, but he kicks my knight first. So where does my knight go? Here. Only square. So I still want to play something like queen g7 and rook f8 and then uh, f4. But is that the plan? Is that the best plan? I need to liberate this bishop at some point. I can play um, <clears throat> a6 at any time, but I don't know if that's such a great diagonal. So try this first. Rook f8 and f6. Oh, yeah, his queen is no longer attacking g6. His queen is on this diagonal. I could, um, <clears throat> I could play a5 just to threaten bishop a6. Mm, if he blocks with the pawn, I take, he takes, and he's got enough defense there because he's got the knight on it as well as the queen. So let's just go ahead with this plan. And I guess if he plays uh, f4 himself, then I can uh, put my knight back on uh, <coughs> e4 and hit the uh, c3 pawn. Might be good. So, is this any good now? Knight e4, pawn takes, pawn takes. I get a tempo on the queen. But uh, I don't think I get anything else. So let's play f4. Try and uh, <clears throat> open up some things over here. Now, I wanted to take with the rook. Ah, uh, but he does have knight to uh, g6 if I take with the rook. That's annoying. How about if I play knight to um, f7? No, knight takes, rook takes, bishop takes, he wins the exchange. Okay, pawn takes. Uh, he's got queen g6. No, he doesn't. Queen g3 is out because of the pawn. Uh, I guess it's better than not taking. I still get knight to um, knight f5 is an idea. Yeah, knight f5 to uh, e3 might be good. Mm, laminating Guru. Interesting name. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Okay, so knight f, uh, knight f5. Knight on um, e6 also hits the pawn on uh, g2. Knight on e3 hits g2. Ah, so he goes after my rook. Well, let's go after his rook. If he takes the rook, uh, oh, it's check. I'll take back. Oh, he took the knight. That's a bit mysterious. Hmm, I guess that's good. Um, <clears throat> the bishop here is not yet trapped. This pawn. I need to defend this pawn. I want to play rook to uh, f5 and chase the bishop. Hmm. Let's see. Rook here. Rook takes. Rook takes. Queen takes. Is still adequately defended. He's even got the bishop on it. is uh, bishop takes, I guess that goes with check, queen takes, queen takes check, I move out of the way, but I'm threatening on, uh, <coughs> I am threatening on g2, I'm, I may be losing here though, oh, I defends g2. So, what can I do? I uh, defend the pawn. He is he threatening? He's not really threatening. <clears throat> uh, it was not threatening f uh, five, but he might be threatening. Um, f four, I meant, but he, he might have played uh, h four there, hitting my hitting my rook. Probably would have won at least the exchange. Hmm. What can I do here? So the queen's defending that. queen to defend the rook. <clears throat> okay, if pawn takes, that that's, um, okay, let's just move the bishop here. Pawn to uh, e5. And uh, pawn takes, then I have uh, rook takes, no, I, I, oh, bishop takes, I have bishop takes, pawn takes, then rook takes check. Although maybe it's not good enough. <clears throat> okay, the queen went back there again. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. There's three guys and three defenders, four defenders, so... Uh, but, <clears throat> yeah, if he plays something like that... Time warning. Not good, is it? He can't take it, but he can always play. Um... Check. <clears throat> well, I didn't think that was so great. 
Server Announcement. Uh, I guess he can check me. Check. And pin my uh, king against the queen there. Though I do get a check in here, so I don't know. Don't know who's better here, but uh, definitely a good tactic here, the rook to uh, <clears throat> rookie seven, pinning the queen against the king. Check. So the king has to move. This is one of those positions where he's a double check. The pawn and the rook are checking, so... No interposes are possible. Okay, rook here, check, maybe. Check. <clears throat> I can take with a pawn. And that's check and forces the queen. Yeah, yeah, that's this is winning, right? Check. <clears throat> he has to take with the queen, then I take with the rook, and then I can take his rook here. Well, that was a lucky save. <laughs> check. So uh, there's enough time to win this. <clears throat> Thing is, I can move pretty fast here. I'll just uh, move my king up and checkmate him. I won't bother with the pawns. White resigns. Okay, well, that was an interesting game. I'm going to upload it and uh, do a postmortem as usual. See you guys later. Bye.